excited to be with you today. I'm going to show you some Monarch activities that you can do at home in celebration of Monarch Madness this month. So the first one I'm going to show you is actually the life cycle of the Monarch. Um, the Monarch has four distinct stages for its life. It starts as an egg um, laid on milkweed leaves. Um, that is the mainly the main plant that um, the Monarch caterpillar eats. So we have the egg, the caterpillar, and the caterpillar forms a chrysalis, um, which a lot of things are happening. Um, it might not look like a lot is happening, but this is where the true metamorphosis, the um, change into the butterfly happens. And we have an adult butterfly. So those four stages um, you are going to create your life cycle with. We have a couple cups, really simple. Um, and this one's really fun to do. You're gonna need the butterfly stages and the background piece for this activity. The first thing you're gonna do is cut and color um, your pieces. And then the first thing, how to construct it, um, you're actually gonna take your cup and tape on each stage of the life cycle. So we're gonna start with the egg. Then we have the caterpillar. And you're just gonna go around the bottom of the cup. And then we're gonna do the chrysalis. And then the last stage, uh, we have that beautiful um, adult butterfly. We'll put that right here. And um, then we have another cup. We're going to actually put our background on that. You can um, decorate it however you want. If you want to put milkweed, um, like their natural habitat, or you can um, do the different stages, um, decorate it like a beautiful butterfly if you want to do it that way. And you're just going to wrap it around, tape it together, and put it right over top of your stages. And you can go through each stage of the monarch life cycle. And there you go, you have your uh, Monarch Life Cycle Cup activity. Okay, for our second activity, the fluttering, flapping butterfly, um, it's really simple also. You just need a couple things, a regular straw, a bigger straw, and a butterfly um, image. Uh, we have some that you can cut and color, like I've done today, um, and I'm going to show you how to construct it. So all you do is you fold the, your butterfly in half, you're going to make a slit um, in the middle. So just cut it right in the middle. And um, so now our butterfly is ready. Ready. We have our regular straw. You are going to cut um, the straw just an inch down on both sides. And um, you're going to actually put this through the slit on your butterfly. And um, this will be the, the first part to our flapping motion. Um, you're going to bend the straw so that um, one, one side is on each side of the butterfly wing. And go ahead and tape that down. I'm going to show you how to um, tape it down just like this. And uh, once we have our regular straw on here, um, it's going to look just like that. Take your larger straw and you're going to want to cut it um, an inch shorter, roughly, um, from your regular straw and do the same exact thing on this one. You're going to cut um, both sides. So there's two slits, um, roughly an inch down and there we go. And then you're going to slide, slide your straw over the smaller one and bend out the, the flaps or the, the sides that you just cut and tape those down. And a tip is tape it close to the edge because then your butterfly will really um, have that flapping motion and it can really flap. So uh, we have our butterfly constructed and you just move your straw up and down and you create uh, your fluttering butterfly. Thanks for watching and learning more about the Monarch butterfly. I hope that you do these activities at home um, with the life cycle activity and the flapping or fluttering butterfly. Um, I always feel very inspired to learn more about these beautiful um, monarchs that migrate and that are here during the season. So um, I hope that you feel inspired to learn more about the beautiful monarch butterfly. And thank you for joining me in celebrating Monarch Madness here at the Putnam. Mm -hmm.